When you create a standard logic app, it runs in a single tenant environment, meaning the logic app runs in a single dedicated instance. The standard logic app is hosted as an extension on Azure Functions runtime. This will allow you to apply network topology and choose any available compute size. This also requires a storage account to host the content needed for the logic app to be up and running. Due to increase in security and policies, many organizations want storage accounts to be secured. The public access on the storage account is not recommended. In this video, we will see how to create a standard logic app with a storage account whose public access is disabled using private endpoints. Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a Microsoft MVP and I do blogging and make videos on .NET and Azure. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me reach this content to your wider group. Let's get started now. Let's look at this diagram to understand how this is being done. First, we will disable public access on the storage account. Then, we will create a private endpoint and a private link from the storage account to the traffic originated from this VNet. So all the traffic that is being originated from this VNet or subnet can reach to the storage account using the secured private link via Microsoft Backbone Network. Then the logic app outbound traffic will be routed via VNet. While configuring the outbound traffic for the logic app, we have to select a subnet. That is why we will be creating another subnet inside this VNet and route all the outbound traffic of the logic app via this subnet. This way, the logic app outbound traffic, the traffic that is being originated from the logic app, can reach to the storage account using the private link. Now, let's jump to the demo. We will see how this will be created in the Azure portal. I'm in my Azure portal. We will be creating all our resources under Logic Apps resource group. First, let's create a standard Logic App directly with public storage account. Click on create, search for Logic App, click on create. Since we are creating a standard Logic App, we're gonna choose workflow service plan for the demo purpose. Click on select and the Logic App name, give it as in facto iPhone standard iPhone LA iPhone 01. I wanna create this in Australia East region and the service plan name, I just wanna choose it as in facto ASP01. Maybe I will call it as a workflow service plan 01. Click OK. WS1 should be fine for the demo purpose. Click on next. And the storage name, I want to give it as in facto STRG01 that is available. Click OK. And for the demo purpose, this will create the storage account as public access enabled. So the storage account is available. Click networking. For now, I want to leave everything to the default. We will enable the public access and to begin with there won't be any network injection. Click on monitoring. For demo purpose, we don't need any application insights. Click on tag, review and create and the validation has passed. Let's click on create. We have the standard logic app resource created and it's ready. Let's click on go to resource. Let's click on workflow. Let's create, let's create a stateful workflow for testing purpose workflow iphone test click on create if you hit the refresh we should be able to see our test workflow here click on this test workflow go to the designer and simply create a http trigger for testing purpose http trigger and maybe add response just written as success 200 click on save now go to the workflow let's test this workflow run with payload just hit run and you should be able to see the response bar just refresh this you will be able to see the run history okay everything is in place now we have our standard logic app with a public storage account and we have a sample workflow which is working well and good now Let's go to our resource group and see the storage account associated with this standard logic app. We'll go to our resource group. Um, this is the storage account which is associated with the standard logic app. 
So if you go to the standard logic app, since the standard logic app runs on top of the function environment, as we discussed before, you can look at the environment variables and you can see the web storage and the content share where we have the website content hosted, which is the storage account, which is this one. Now, if you see the network access of the storage account, which is public access enabled, now what we're going to do is we're going to make it private just disable the public access completely and click on save once this is saved the public access of the storage account is completely disabled and if we go back to the workflow if i try to do a refresh run the status it's running but we'll have to look for the runtime version to see if it pulls up the runtime version or it will throw any error but if you go to the workflow let's see if it will be able to pull up the workflows now the public access is disabled it should throw an error here maybe it will take a while okay now we can go and simply just restart the logic app sometimes it takes a while to pick up these changes maybe just give it a couple of minutes and if you don't see anything simply restart the logic app see now the runtime version we have the error because the storage account public access is disabled and there is no access to the site content we can see the error here as well and there is no workflow now let's fix this one as we discussed before to fix this one what we have to do is since the public access of the storage account is disabled we have to create a private link from Azure Logic App to this storage account. So for that, first we need a virtual network. Then let's create a subnet where we're gonna place the private endpoints. Go to our resource group simply and create a private endpoint. Go to the resource group, click on create, look for the virtual network, choose the virtual network, click on create. Okay, let's name this one as nfacto vnet and I will be creating this in Australia East region review and create or maybe let's go back to the IP addresses and let me create a subnet here as we discussed before I want to create a subnet for private endpoints I want to call it as a private iPhone endpoint a subnet to place the private endpoints I want to leave everything to the default now since this is a subnet where we're going to place the private endpoints we need the service endpoints to be enabled to allow the traffic to azure storage accounts select microsoft storage so this will allow the network traffic from this subnet to microsoft azure storage accounts if you go back here we need the outbound traffic access to the storage account this is a microsoft storage account that's why we need the service endpoints enable and let's add this one and let's click on review and create create we have the virtual network created let's go to the virtual network resource and look at the subnet and we have the private endpoint subnet and which has the service endpoint enabled for microsoft storage account to allow the traffic to the storage account that's all done now we can go ahead and create a private endpoint for the storage account so for that let's go to our resource group again click on create resource okay i have the private endpoints already here click on the private endpoint click create a private endpoint and this will be under logic apps resource and the name of the private endpoint is we have to create a private endpoint for each of the storage mechanism under the storage account so first i'm creating a private endpoint for blob storage access and go to the resource and this is a visual studio subscription we have to choose a resource for which we are creating this private endpoint and the resource type is a storage account and the private link resource is logic app in fact strg01 this is the private link resource okay this resource is not supported let's go and check this resource for a moment let's go to our resource group this is our storage account so by default for the private link to work the storage account should be the general purpose v2 but it is by default was created with general purpose v1 let's change this one to the general purpose v2 yeah upgrade to general purpose v2 i tick the terms and conditions agreed click on upgrade now this will upgrade the storage account to the general purpose v2 
now if i go back we should be able to create a private link on the storage account maybe i need to hit a refresh this all will go but that's fine and uh, we're going to create this in logic apps resource group first we will be creating a private endpoint on the blob storage so i just want to name it as a blob and the resource will be uh, under this subscription it's a storage account which is this now it's allowing now the target sub resource is to begin with blob but for this whole setup to work we need to create private endpoints for blob table queue file and web each of this storage mechanism is required and used by standard logic app app environment so to begin with let's create it for blob first and go to the virtual network we will be creating under in fact vnet logic apps resource group private endpoint subnet go to next we're going to choose uh, the microsoft private dns private link blob.core.com that one go to tags and click on review and create so this one should create a private link on the blob storage okay we have the private endpoint on the blob storage has been created let's go to the storage account and go to the networking now if we see the networking section we should be able to see a new tab which is private endpoint connection and we have the private endpoint created for blob storage account from the in fact to iphone vnet private endpoint subnet everything is in place as we discussed before we need to create a private endpoint for all other storage mechanisms like table queue file web let's create private endpoint for each of that storage mechanism okay now i have created the private endpoint for each of the storage mechanism from the private endpoint subnet blob table queue file and web if we go back to our diagram now we have a private link established from this subnet to the storage account now all we need to do is we need to route the logic app outbound traffic to this vnet to do that first we have to create a subnet and route logic app outbound traffic to that specific subnet so it can reach to the storage account using a private link let's route the outbound traffic of the logic app over the vnet to do that go to our logic app go to network settings and we just need to configure the outbound traffic of this logic app add virtual network integration and our virtual network is in fact to vnet we don't have any available subnet except the default one let's create another subnet and route the traffic via that specific subnet as we depicted in our diagram we need a separate subnet to route the logic app outbound traffic and this subnet is delegated to the microsoft web forms i'm going to show you when i create that we'll go to our virtual network subnet create a new subnet and i want to call it as a logic app outbound click on add okay we have the subnet created now if i go and try to add the virtual network integration again it should give this one as an eligible subnet to be used okay logic app outbound and connect it's all done now the logic app outbound traffic is routed via logic app outbound subnet one last thing needed on this subnet is we want this subnet to be delegated to the web server forms which has been done already but we can cross check this one more time and set this this has been delegated to the microsoft web server forms this is required to route the logic app outbound traffic this is all looking good now let's go to our logic app and do a quick restart and see if it's making any difference okay we still have the error if we go back to our diagram the logic app outbound traffic is routed via this subnet and this subnet traffic should be able to reach and use this subnet private endpoint and should be able to use the secure link to access the storage account content but still we have the issue so if you go back to the microsoft documentation one thing we might be missing is website content over vnet we need to add this app setting to tell the logic app to route the traffic over the vnet so just add this extra one config so the logic app outbound traffic will be routed over the vnet set this value as one apply confirm 
okay now if i go back to the overview and hit a refresh this might take a couple of minutes to reflect the change if it doesn't work we might need to restart and see we still have the error let's restart the web app one more time and see as i said before it will take some time to reflect the change i'm just giving one more retry with the restart and we will see okay after giving it couple of minutes it's come back up now we can see the runtime version here now if you go to the workflow it should be able to pull up the workflow which it could not do it before and even you can open the workflow and let's quickly test this to make sure everything is in place hit run and as we seen before we have a success response and if you go to the logic app this logic app is connected to private secure storage account without any public access so the three important point we want to make sure is on the virtual network side of things the subnet where we are placing the private endpoints should have a service endpoint to the microsoft storage account so it can allow the outbound traffic to reach to any storage account on the microsoft and the outbound subnet where we're going to route the logic app outbound traffic that subnet should be delegated to microsoft web server forms number two and the last one number three on the logic app app settings we need to have website content to over vnet should be set to one so the logic app will route the outbound traffic over the vnet these three are the common things to note when we creating the standard logic app with the private storage account that is it for this video i hope you like the content if you like the content please hit subscribe like share and help me reach this content to a wider group I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, this is Shri signing off. Thank you.